Hey guys, it's your girl Mario, also known as Soul Style Beauty. Happy New Year. I hope that you guys are feeling reset, refreshed, everything. Blessings on blessings for 2020. I know my voice sounds a little raspy. I was sick a little bit after Christmas. I was running a fever. And I just feel like everything is now coming up. Like, I know, TMI. But everything is, like, coming up now. But it's affecting, like, my voice. But I'm still going to get this video in. So yesterday I posted like a poll of what videos that you guys wanted to see and a lot of you guys said you wanted to see a video with my 2019 lessons for myself. Um, so this is what we're going to do today. So if you're interested, stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the Soul Style Beauty family and then also follow me on Instagram at Soul Style Beauty. Let's get into the lessons. All right. So I have my phone here because I wrote my lessons down and I apologize in advance if I snapped in this video because I'm very, very passionate about my lessons okay um so i am going to get into it so my first lesson is your mindset is literally everything 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 um so you have to get to the root of what you believe in and it's so many things these days that we give our attention to it could be the media it could be people's opinions people who don't even know us and you start to feel some way and affects your productivity affects how you move it affects like literally everything but i literally had to sit back and be like imara why are you thinking that and what is the root of what you're thinking and then from there i was able to be more productive more focused towards my goals and more just like have a focus on why am i believing this and then also the enemy is the biggest manipulator there is when you're doing anything for the kingdom when you're doing anything to help other people when you're moving the right way people will come out of nowhere and literally test you so i have to sit back and be like can i go off right now because i can but I don't because I know that the enemy is the biggest manipulator. So I think that going into th into 2020, I don't just believe everything that's in my mind because there's thoughts coming from the enemy. There's false thoughts coming from, you know, what other people think about me, which is none of my business. So you really have to get down to your mindset and ask yourself, what is the root of everything that I'm believing? Because a lot of it is false. A lot of it, y'all. So my next lesson is it's okay to stay in your lane. So when a lot of people look at me, they're like, oh, my gosh, she does YouTube. Oh, my gosh, she does this. I'm the biggest homebody there is. I like to stay home. I like to keep my circle small. I don't give my business out there to everybody. I show myself friendly, but I am not an out there type of person. I'm not an up in the club every weekend type of person. And that is okay. Certain times you'll find people who's like, oh, you know, she doesn't move the way I do. So I think that's arrogant. It's okay to be who you are, to stay in your lane and to just do you. You know, you have to do what's best for you and what benefits you, whatever brings you peace at night so you can sleep in your bed with peace. Um, but it's so okay to stay in your lane. And I think it's very dangerous when you start to look at, oh, how's this other person living? Oh, how's this other person doing what they're doing? Oh, how's this other person making the business um, or having things happen for them? And I think that's why I stay content and I don't compete against people because whatever God has for me will always be for me. I don't need to go into anybody's wave or lane and ride it at all because whatever he has destined for me will always be for me. Um, so I have to learn to just be like, you know what, this is how I am. And if people want to take it as arrogant, if people want to, and I had that before, if you want to think like I'm all, all, all that because I don't move like them, so then so be it. But it's okay for me to stay in my lane and I think that's why I been able to inspire people because a lot of people when they see me at face value they're like oh I think that th she's this way and let me just tell you this somebody like anybody's opinion of you is not your business it's not a reflection of you it's a reflection of them everybody's conditioned by their past experiences and everybody has an opinion based on their past experience did you live out those experiences no so at the end of the day it's okay to stay in your life unless my ugh, my next lesson is actually believing in the supernatural so you guys know that i'm saving up for the wedding and i don't really talk about <clears throat> my wedding like that i will after but i just feel like i need to do more time you know talking with my fiance about the actual marriage you know because we have to live that out anyways when it comes to the wedding there's a lot of things that are you know logistics and numbers and da -da -da -da, and you sometimes start to doubt but it's like at the end of the day whatever move that we make if it is god's will he can perform 
whatever he wants to do. He can literally make changes in amounts of seconds. And I feel like a lot of the times, and including myself, we look at whatever's in front of us or how much we're making. And yes, there's a time for wisdom, but then I also want to get back to believing in the supernatural. I don't want to sit here and just be like, oh, okay, we only have this. It makes my like faith life very boring if I just look at everything I have. But I'm like, yeah, I believe in God. Well, God will provide for his children. So I think it goes back to like praying. It goes back to really believing God for big things and not just small things. And just knowing that a miracle can happen legit at every second. And I think that's what's exciting about a faith walk. Like when you start to pray about certain things and it's like, oh, but I don't know, we only have this. And sometimes my fiance does that too. And I also have to remind him, bruh, like God is like, he knows everything. Like, why are you doubting? Like, and it's those times where he has to do that to me. Like, Imari, like, why do you think this is not? So it's so funny. Like, when one person's at zero, the other person's at 100%, when, you know, and vice versa. So I think that is so important, and it makes this walk so exciting. When we can say, God, I know that you can move mountains. I believe in the supernatural. Like, anybody can come up and literally provide anything for you. So I think that... And God uses his people. That's another thing. And we, I think we just look at like, you know, what's coming in. Like our paycheck is coming in. We know that's coming. Or we know this is going to happen. Or we know this is going to like, we really don't know at the end of the day. So yeah, I just want to get back to living a supernatural life and really trusting God to make mountains move for this year. Um, my next lesson is it's okay to step away. So I remember, I think it was like two months ago, I took a 21 day social media fast. And it's so crazy because I've never ever taken a social media fast. I've been on YouTube for years. I've been on Instagram for years. And I'm not saying my presence is anything that anybody needs at any mo given moment. I don't. But my thing is a lot of the time, if you're a blogger, influencer, entrepreneur at the end of the day you think it's so like it takes away from you if you have to step back in a moment and I realized that I don't need to consume everything on social media I don't like when you're consuming something it's changing your thoughts it's changing your attitude it's changing how you feel trust me try it for one or two days without social media it's okay to step away and i'm telling you people people unfollow every day and refollow or unfollow and you get new followers but whatever god has destiny all goes back to whatever his will is for your life if you say god i'm giving you this time i want just to increase like my time in your presence i don't want to deal with social media i don't want to deal with my blog i don't want to deal with my business i need to step back for a moment i'm telling you god will repay you tenfold there's nothing that we can do that god will not supply in greater measure so i had to learn that it's okay to step back from social media because it's not even me like half the time i'm posting you know a mixture of things that i like a mixture like my opinions or stuff you know scripture in the bible but whatever that is it's not really even me it's the holy spirit working in that person's heart so if you think that you can't step away then maybe you think that you're more powerful than you are and i had to realize that it's okay for me to take a social media break. It's okay for me to reset. It's okay for me to not work and rest. It's okay for me to call in and have a sick mental uh, a mental health day. Whatever it is to get my mind right and reset when it's time to reset. So it's okay to step away, y'all. My last lesson for 2019, I was about to say 2020 is god doesn't take prayer lightly um i think that sometimes we just like okay it's like a routine or we just don't do it at all because we don't think that it's effective but the bible actually says the prayer of the righteous is effective and powerful so i think that is very important for us to get back to praying and being very consistent with prayer um in the beginning of the year, I was very consistent. I had like post-its and in the middle of the year, but then towards the end, I kind of fell off. But I'm learning, especially during the wedding season as well, prayer is so effective. I think that it's important for us to get back to praying and praying more in the new year. So yeah, guys, that was it for this video. It, those were all of my lessons for 2019. I'm sorry if I came off a little Brooklyn, but... 
I was like, I am going to snap this video um, because I am very passionate about, you know, certain things I have learned and I'm thankful for all the lessons. I honestly can't wait to see what God has in store for me, for my new family with Jose, um, for my job stuff. Like, I don't know. God. He's going to take the will. But anyways, I hope that you guys have a wonderful new year. Um, take this time, please, to reflect and to just spend time just focusing on, okay, what is the things that I need to do or accomplish this year? Um, but anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.